Hello, welcome to Hariba Lakwa Twin channel. In this video, Hariba will share calibration procedures for Hariba Lakwa Twin meters. Lakwa Twin calibration consists of setting two reference points to achieve precision in the measurement. When should you calibrate the Lakwa Twin meter? Lakwa Twin pH and conductivity meters should be calibrated every week, while ion meters, potassium, calcium, sodium, and nitrate should be calibrated every day before the use. For multiple measurements in a single day, calibrate every 10 to 15 measurements to get the highest possible accuracy. Why should you calibrate the Lakwa Twin meter? Frequent calibration would ensure the precision of the Lakwa Twin meters. The calibration uses standard solutions at known concentrations. Calibrations at a single point are quicker and easier but reduced accuracy when the measurement values are further from the calibration point. A two-point calibration fixes the calibration curve at both ends, providing better accuracy across the measurement range. How to do the calibration. The electrode must be conditioned if the meter is new or has been stored for two weeks or more. Follow the link to meter conditioning video. Start the calibration with the lower calibration point first, or pH 7 solution for pH meters. Add a few drops of calibration solution to the sensor covering both sensor areas. Hariba recommends waiting about 30 seconds. The smiley face icon will be displayed, indicating that the electrode reading has stabilized. Press the CAL calibration button to place the meter in calibration mode. By default, the low calibration point of 150 ppm flashes on the screen. Switch between calibration points by pressing the MEAS measure button. To confirm the value to calibrate, press calibration button. The CAL icon and the smiley face will flash until the calibration is completed. The meter will automatically recognize the calibration value when using the pH and conductivity meter. Rinse the sensor with deionized water and dry it with a soft cloth, making sure that no micro drops remain on the sensor. Proceed with the second calibration point following the same procedure. Add the calibration solution and wait for 30 seconds. Press calibration to display the second point by default. Then press calibration one more time to confirm and start the calibration. The CAL icon and smiley face stop flashing when the calibration is completed. At this point, the meter is calibrated, ready to be used. How to change the calibration point. Adjusting the ion meter calibration point improves precision, especially if you're testing low concentration samples. When setting custom calibration points, use a tenfold increase between points, for example, 20 and 200 ppm. Adjust calibration points with the following procedure. Switch the meters off. Press and hold the measure and on and off buttons simultaneously until the lights display. When unit appears, press calibration one time. LO.CH is displayed on the screen. Press measure one time. 150 displays on the screen. Press measure to adjust the low calibration point value. Holding the measure button allows fast forwarding. Set the desired value, then press calibration and hi.ch appears on the screen. Press and hold the measure to adjust the high calibration point to 10 times the value of the low calibration point. Display the desired value and press calibration four times to switch off the meter. Switch back on the meter and press calibration to display the two values just set. Switch back to factory setting by switching off the meter and holding all three buttons until INIT is displayed. Then press calibration to switch off the meter. Switching the meter to factory settings restores the preset calibration values at 150 and 2000 ppm. Hariba hopes that this video was helpful. Find more tips for the Lakwa Twin meter with the following link.